contrary to popular belief, still the best thing you could do for immunity is to be fit, healthy, and lean. Oh, that what? was hey, that was controversial just about twelve months ago. Can you believe that? Now it's now it's <laughs> trending news. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, to, look on at, both sides of the fence. There, it, like, I don't I don't care. It's still to this day, there's no supplement, no no nutrient, no medicine, no nothing that will protect you from disease like simply being healthy, fit, and relatively lean. Not shredded, but relatively lean. And it's crazy that that conversation was uh, almost censored or ignored I for feel so like long. you're fat shaming right now. Uh, it's not. It's That's just not. facts. Yeah. Stop with all that. I yeah. know. Yeah. Listen, you, you... This is more of that like, misinformation campaign you, stuff. I know. Listen, I, I want to be clear. Like, uh, it's That doesn't mean that you should treat people crappy if they're having challenges with that stuff. Obviously, it's a very challenging thing to do. For lots of people, uh, so you still show empathy, but it's a fact. You know, did you see that the 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 latest? They said that the right now, and this is kind of side topic, but right now, seventy five percent of people who are who are dying from the latest variant, seventy five percent have you ready for this? At least four comorbidities, not mm. one, not two, not three, but four. Comorbidity. I didn't think oh, we had they're, anybody. They're, I thought only like one person allegedly died from Omicron. Uh, mm. That was uh, early on when they That's said a, that. And I just heard that just like a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that still true? Were no, they I actually don't think reporting so. that where they let you know there's those four comorbidities? That was a CDC director. That's new. Just came yeah, out and said that. Great. What makes me upset about this is forget all the, you know, the, the you know, the, the politiza politicization around it and all that stuff. It's always been true. And I, I hate that 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 was never communicated to yeah. people. Now, I will say- Well, and I feel like you could have done both too, right? Yes. I, I totally. feel like you could have you, you could have done both. Like, I mean, even the way like I suggested to my parents, like I, you know, because they, I know how unhealthy they are, I was like, you guys should probably go get the vaccine, but you should also try and get some vitamin D. I think you guys should be exercising right now, trying to eat a cleaner diet. Like, I don't understand why it had to be either or. Yeah. I don't understand why they, they couldn't have also recommended that this is something that everybody should try and do. Because let's be honest, if you're uh, morbidly obese, you're not going to get healthy or fit in six months, you know, no. after. The, but you can make a dent. Well, well, you can head in the right direction. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can start to head in the right direction. And so I think that it, it just surprises me that we we had to do this kind of either or it had I to know. be like you were you were part of the uh, anti vaxxers who were just going to try and exercise and be healthy or you had to be pro vaccine and then stay indoors and fuck working out and fuck the sunlight like yeah, it's, why can't there be why couldn't there have been middle ground well okay we have to consider this that anytime there's something major it gets politicized because it's like a gift it's a, it's mm -hmm. like a gift from the, the the political gods when something crazy happens and you're a politician because it's very easy to use it to make yourself look like a savior or whatever. And it's right. not a popular message to say this. Hey, everybody, here's something you can do. That's not a popular message as a politician. What the popular message is always, it's hey, everybody, everybody else's fault. Yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll do this for you. We'll solve it for you. And so you, you, if you tell people there's some responsibility on your end, you're probably not going to sway them or cause this division, which is very uh, you know, uh, beneficial to political parties. So it's just not a popular political message. Nobody wants so to hear do you, that. So do you think that if this, if if COVID would have hit us in a, a non-election year, do you think that the way the CDC and everybody else would have handled this would have been different? I think it would have been similar, but it would have been, uh, I think, okay, so here's the deal. Hmm. Every two years, there's some kind of an election, whether it's con congressional or presidential. Right. So no and matter what's going to be landing on it's like. always it's always an issue that can get a bill passed or spending or just to make your opponents look bad or make you look good, right? So whoever's in power, obviously it's their fault. Everybody's dying. Uh oh, now I'm in power. Actually, it was the guy before me. It was his <laughs> fault. Here's my solutions. Yeah. So and, and here's the truth: it, it doesn't make you invulnerable. Obviously, there's all you could be fit and healthy and still have all kinds of problems, but the numbers show that at least two-thirds of cancers can be prevented through a fit and healthy lifestyle. Heart disease, the vast majority of heart disease is prevented with a fit and healthy lifestyle. Chronic autoimmune issues, great data that shows that either you won't get any or if you do, the severity of them gets greatly reduced. Like pretty much any illness or disease or chronic health issue is positively impacted by being fit and healthy. It sometimes doesn't prevent everything, obviously, but 
if you're going to go into a situation yeah, that's, that's challenging, thing you can do. Yes. And I think that's, that's the most frustrating part being in the fitness and the health community. And I think that's why, you know, there was a lot of reserve with a lot of the information out there is because that was just glossed right over and wasn't brought to the forefront. It's like, well, what you can do is really make better efforts, better dis conscious decisions about what you're putting in your body and, you know, how you're actually like moving around and exercising in order to maintain this healthy body to stave off or just make yourself of, more resilient that's the thing anything. you're just you're more resilient when you're strong and you're healthy well yeah. i want to officially welcome you to the club now <laughs> oh you're yeah. on you're on yeah, team, you're on team covid now so we've all it's, we've all officially gone through it i am a little disappointed how easy it was for you i thought you being the fattest one you would definitely suffer, <laughs> suffer the most <laughs> so yeah. i really i yeah, really, thought, really thought i was, be down I was a count. little upset i was a little upset that i think it was harder for me you hey, know than hey than you. you know what's funny there's like a clear divide for yeah. a lot of things in our in, in thanks for pump. outing me yeah i know <laughs> I, I know he's a, listen yeah. there's a clear divide like you and i adam are so similar in certain ways and justin and doug are very similar in certain ways and one of the ways that they're similar is they both seem to have mutant immune I know, systems. I know. You and I will always get the most. The sick. fact that Justin didn't get it the first time, like it, it's hard to describe this room for someone. Is like we have zero ventilation in here. We are all talking, yelling. It's like we're in a small hot tub and somebody pees. You're gonna yeah. get pee on yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and those tub. were like the more nasty versions, right? And I got the little like lame, like weak. You know, I was kind of feeling something, but it was gone. Yeah, yeah I know. Version. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you're. You, it was. It was totally nothing for yeah. you, which is great. Yeah. No. I again. Yeah. I'm glad. Now both your but, both your boys or one boy has it right now. Uh, Who's, no. Both both got it. Both and, have it. Um, How was it for them? Same with same like it was with me. They were just like sort of achy, and then um, and then it just kind of came and went, and now they're doing you know backflips and cartwheels. And that's so awesome. It's just like, dude. And okay. Courtney didn't get it at all. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. Wild. Yeah, so weird. Bizarre. And, and for me, it was funny because like uh, for the longest time, I'm like, what is it? You know, uh, is it because I'm like, maybe it's because I'm like more dirty than the guys. You know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I like, like dirt under my nails and, you know, I'm just like always exposed Outside to like, dirt. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> more bacteria. Like, I'm just like a more of a bacteria guy. <laughs> I don't know. He's always he's yeah. rolling around in the tree. Yeah, I, yeah. I just like pig pen, you know, from like uh, <laughs> just like rolling. Adam dirt. Adam showers like three times a day. Yeah, you know? I don't care, dude. I'm out there, you know. Uh, in the, in the mix. You got a point. You got a point here. Right yeah, now. yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here, and be sure to subscribe.